Uh, well, we spoke about patience throughout the game. It was uh, couldn't rush the result. Um, you know, based on the last, you can only go on based on uh, historical how you, how it's going to turn out. Obviously, you expect the pressure to be on. It certainly was the last time that we played. Um, so I was more just trying to keep it simple for ourselves early and not overthink it. That that just meant being a little bit more patient. So uh, ironically, it was you know the quarter that we've been struggling in, which is the last quarter. So. Um, you know, thought our way through it a lot more and, and uh, were patient on the result and didn't rush it. And there might have been frustrating moments within that, but I, I thought that we actually generally fought through it. They, they weren't getting any ball movement flow. Um, they got us on the fast break a couple of times, but generally speaking, I thought our defence was really, really good. Um, so we were able to, uh, so that meant that probably at times it meant ball movement was a little bit slower, but I thought that was, uh, you know, we were well structured in that area, so I thought that was a good part of our game. What were you up in the third quarter? Oh, we were peppering a fair bit. I mean, I, I thought we were, we were generally looking dangerous across the whole night. Um, and again, we could sort of probably want to will so bad that it becomes you know desperate stakes as opposed to thinking our way through it. So that was just uh, that was a constant theme throughout the game. And and uh, and I thought that despite the you know well, we were kicking out a full a few times. Um, <laughs> So uh, we're good at that, um, but you know, generally speaking, I thought that yeah, we certainly had plenty of opportunities, and we just looked dangerous when we went forward. We just looked dangerous. We looked like we we're going to score. Um, I can't put that down to any perfect science, other than a, you know a general feel that you had out there. And when we were on inside fifty, I thought that uh, most times we looked like we we're going to score. Bossy, were you happy that um, they went in for the kill at the end, like they didn't just weren't happy just to defend a the lead? They mm. were lining up to really build them. Yep. Last. Yeah, oh, well, we haven't had too many games like that, Hamo. Like we've, uh, we've had games where we've had to fight out to the end, or it's been physically wearing and tearing on our on our bodies, and um, you know to be able to finish a game where they could, you know, enjoy themselves a bit towards the end. Every competitor doesn't mind those, um, you know, and, and so I think that that for them to be able to enjoy that moment together, it's uh, it's good. You know, we think we've got a good a good talent coming through. Um, you know, we've we've obviously been able to expose them to some footy this year, and. You know, some guys that were probably a little bit so-and-so in form-wise, I thought were really, really solid today and, and got back on the horse. So that was uh, that was also pleasing to see. When your defence is back to full strength, Staker looks more natural as soon as a forward. Yeah, his work rate's uh, you know, exceptional. Like, uh, you know, the work rate that forwards need nowadays, he he's fits it to an absolute T. So. Uh, his first half, he was certainly one of the better players on the ground, I thought, and just the, what he was providing us was uh, very, very important. Um, you know, and this back three games, he's going to probably get that fitness that uh, he was pre when he hurt himself. Um, so it's good to be able to come up and have that just extra tall when Mitch goes into the ruck, and and uh, and then you've still got that marking presence down there is pretty important. The well, we've tended to use uh, Ash and, and Stakes a little bit horses for courses, like depending on whether we need them forward or back, and they've both equally provided as much impact. Um, so I know Ash is enjoying going up, kicking a few goals here and there, and, and uh, but you know he's saving goals this week. But you know Stakes was the one that went forward, so have that flexibility. I think is pretty important in the team. Must have been nice seeing Drummer come back and have that bit more of uh, shortness coming out of your back up. Oh yeah, and he, I guess he hasn't been fit for most of the year. We've spent a longer time trying to get him right now. Um, so I think it sort of highlights just how valuable he's in our team and just the, the kicking skills that he has and the angles that he opens up just by the sheer fact that how he kicks the ball. And you know, that, that is no doubt that opens your angles out of defence when you've got someone who can uh, you know, use the ball like that. So just having that little bit of ball use out back there with Jed and, and Pierce is um, pretty useful. Sorry, Daniel Rich dominated yep. today in the twos. Yeah, I would have thought so. I mean, he's had enough training now to bring him back. So, um, you know, we'll obviously have a look at the team. But you know, I, I thought generally today with Oresio, there, there was a lot. It was a really even team performance today. Um, you know, I generally thought that there was a lot of players who actually stepped up to the plate to be able to lead our team, and that was really pleasing to see. And it was a lot of our younger brigade. So to be able to see that was uh, was really good. Blackie had his great day, but um, you know, I thought and Jed was really important in that leadership side of things. But you know, having uh, Polks and, and Louis and Rock and um, and Jack Redden be able to step up it was uh, really pleasing to be able to guide this team. It was good to see. Just, uh, did you think your midfield dominance today was? 
because of Louis' dominance? Oh no, I don't, well he was certainly helped. Um, Louis had a hand of the ball, I don't know what his hit outs to advantage were, but you can certainly get pretty proactive. But yeah. uh, the guy's been working pretty hard for a while to try and get that relationship right. We haven't got it right yet, but we're certainly working towards it. We get a good test this week against Collingwood to find out where that, where that sits, but uh, certainly Louis' dominance helped. Um, but you know, whether you win it in the air or on the ground, um, I think it's, uh, both of them had a really good relationship and that's obviously what we want to be able to form for years, years to come is that genuine leadership, oh, sorry, that genuine relationship with that group of players. And the more they get to spend together, um, the more that understanding is become, going to become greater.